so hello everyone again and welcome to my channel quite fascinating because you'll be dipping into an introductory to pericyclic reactions pericyclic reactions which is paying much similar to the term cycloaddition and there are various interesting terms and key concepts you need to know before dipping into this particular cycloaddition one key term is what it means for reaction to be concerted concerted reaction and how this is different from a stepwise mechanism so for a reaction to be concerted what that means is that this reaction must have a transversing state where it transverse in a particular single energy barrier so once you have a single energy barrier you'll be able to arrive at a particular product without any intermediate so there is no intermediate in this particular reaction mechanism where you just have your reactant going into the transition state and then ending at the final product either in an exit thermic reaction or in an endothermic reaction so for the purpose of this particular topic I'm just going to make this to be an exothermic reaction process where this is the energy level over here and over here is kind of a pathway or a reaction pathway I might say so I just put pathway here or I'll say progress of the reaction now drawing the energy diagram in here we have our reactant at this position here then it requires a huge amount of energy to get to the transition state and once it transforms into the final product it then comes down to form its product over here so product reagent this is the activation energy over here and this here is the TS the transition state and this here is a uh, final product the energy which is the difference between the reactant and the product now on the other side we have the stepwise mechanism which involves multiple steps so once you have multiple steps then you need to include our intermediate so in here we have multiple steps and these multiple steps involves intermediates and this intermediate will lead to a transformation in another intermediate that will lead also to our final product coming from our reagent so drawing the energy diagram here we have our pathway reaction pathway and in here we have our energy over here so what we got over here is that we're going to have a reagent or a reactant reaches a transition state then arrives at an intermediate intermediate over here and then it arrives at another transition state it doesn't matter the height it all matters is you arriving at a trans intermediate over here and then you arrive at our final product over here so this is our product the key one here is the intermediate which what we have over here and this intermediate is being consumed and you arrive at our final product over there where the, in the product of our first reagent becomes the reagent of our final product so this is our initial reagent over here this is a transition state one and this is under transition state two so those are the key terms you need to understand in terms of handed into a cyclo addition reaction now what are examples of these particular concerted reactions versus single steps reactions one example of a concerted reaction involves a particular type of reaction which you're quite familiar with which is an SN2 reaction so for an SN2 reaction that is for a concerted reaction SN2 
reaction or let me just write it properly <laughs> SN2 reaction so SN2 reaction what we have over here is like we have our nucleophile with lone pairs over here and then we have this our reagent over here which has a stereo center and we have our living group over here and now this living group what happens then is that our nucleophile comes in and attack from the back side where there is less steric hindrance over there and what happens next is that this arrow which is our bonding pair becomes a lone pair on the living group thereby this bond cleaving off and then arriving at our intermediate so going to the transition state here our transition state is this particular reagent or this particular species which I have over here and then we have our dotted lines where as the bond here is being formed this bond here is about to be cleaved off so in here we have our living group over there and then we arrive at our transition state and then what we have then is that we get to our final product where there is a change in the stereo center of this particular product or particular reagent over here so we arrive at our final product where the nucleophile actually forms a bond with this particular segment of our former reagent and there is a change in the stereo specificity of our reagent which we have over there so this reagent is completely different from there in terms of the positioning of these regions over here which is moved from this particular left side over to the right side over there which we have over there and we have our living group for the purpose I just put a negative charge over there that, so an SN2 reaction is pretty much a concerted reaction uh, the other side a stepwise mechanism is when we have pretty much an intermediate where our living group actually leaves first before our nucleophile comes in and attack on either side so that particular example is called an SN1 reaction so SN1 reaction has a case where first of all we have a nucleophile it doesn't attack what happens first is that our living group actually leaves first and then what happens then is that we get to a transition state or I would say the living group then arrives at a transition state where we form a trigonal planar shape and then we have a positive charge and note here that there is a charge that is present in here however in the SN2 reaction there is no charge in our transition state because we don't have any form of intermediate over here so over here we arrive at this particular intermediate and what happens next is that our nucleophile comes in and attacks either at the front or at the back of this intermediate and once it attacks at the front or at the back it forms a partial charge where there is a formation of a transition state and then that leads to our final product and this our final product is not stereo specific at all because you form two products either you form one product which can be favored either by temperature or by pressure at some point or you can form another product where the nucleophile is at the other side of each other so pretty much mirror images of each other which is an anatoma I believe so that's about it for this particular concept of concerted reactions versus 
stepwise mechanism. I hope you are able to understand this. And one important thing is that this concerted reaction plays a key role in understanding what it means for a reaction to be cyclo addition enhanced, thereby not forming any form of a transition state, which or an intermediate with either um, a cation or an anion or a radical. So most times our cyclo addition reactions doesn't generate this form of intermediate at all because it doesn't actually undergo a formation of an intermediate. But on the other side, our stepwise mechanism, what it does is that it generates a cation, an anion, or a radical as our intermediate, thereby facilitating the formation of our final product, which we have over there. All the same, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you understand these two key terms. And next video, we'll be talking more about concerted reactions and how this is influence, this influences the formation of cyclo addition or pericyclic reactions. All the same, have a good day, peace, love you all, and please don't forget to hit the like button, share, and subscribe. Bye, and be smart.